All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Guns Up. So, in the last video, we saw someone who attacked our base. And some of you guys expressed some interest in seeing some defense, how long we could defend the base. So, I'm thinking what we want to do is, let's see, I've got maximum points here, so I can go build my base. So, I can return to the hub, I can go to the build inventory, so it looks like I can put in, what? How much for this one? This one would be over. That'd be too many points, so I can't put in that. Oh, I could put in a sniper tower. I could try to put in another anti-aircraft gun. Or some more walls. Alternatively, I could also upgrade some things, but I'm thinking I want some walls here. We saw the guy break it right here. It's definitely a weak spot. So let's see if I can't get a sniper. And I can drag it, and you can see, like, where I can move it to use it, right? So I could move it way up there if I wanted to. Ooh, I could hide it. Ooh, I kind of like that. That might encourage them. I'm going to try this out. I don't know if it's the best spot for it. So let's try upgrading it. And I can use munition. You can see I have 2 million overall munition. So let's try to increase the level. All right, so we're at level 9 right now. Let's get this guy to level 10. Which should be pretty good and... and you know, proved to be a decent threat. And let's upgrade this one. This one's on- oh, that one's at- oh. For a second I thought I read it wrong and it said level 17. I was like, that doesn't look like a level 17. Alright, that's a level 10. Now let's see if we can't afford these walls. Alright, so what I wanted to do was put another wall of defense like what, right? Oh, I guess. The idea here is that it'll soak up a lot of damage if they decided to do a focus fire. So, from two million dollars to about 428,000. Um, I'm trying to figure out another really good- this one seems like a pretty good one to upgrade. Let's upgrade this guy. Ooh, and look, anti-air level 10. We get a much better anti-aircraft defense here because it looks like it's got twin barrels visually a lot more intimidating. But we're pretty much out of money. We still have some more build points, so let's see what we can't just put in for filler. We can put another wall in, so I'll put it in right there. Now let's return to the hub. Go to war, and start the CPU defend. Now, I'm trying to remember what my old record was. It should pop up here. CPU defense. Now, the cool thing about this is it's not just, like, purely viewing. Okay, so the time remaining is 20 minutes. At one point, it used to be, like, you could just go endlessly, which I'm a big fan of, so I guess we're gonna try to do that. So, wave one, it's a bunch of grunts, and then there's also a medic and a few assault troops. They've got these little hats. So, I'm hoping my mercenaries who are just up here... I wish I could have kept them back here to defend, but you know what? They're they're out there. We got mortars that are, aren't the best at doing direct damage. Uh, they're kind of falling everywhere. Now, the real interesting thing is how good this sniper tower is going to be... Um, used in this battle, right? So we're sending out our infantry. One of our veterans just walked out there. He better do a lot of damage here. Oh man, that RPG guy. He could destroy- you know what? Everybody shoot the RPG guy. I don't want to lose this veteran to just an RPG dude. So we'll use that a little bit early. Maybe I should have used the landmine. And now they're gonna go out there and wipe the- wipe the floor with these guys. Unless RPG! No! He- I just- oh. Let's put the landmine here. Oh wow, that was instant. I was trying to take out the grenade guy. I think I'm using my power-ups a little too early here. Remember, we're gonna try to go for 20 minutes or see how long we can last. Alright. We've defended- we've set up a defensive line here. But the RPG dude's walking up and smoking some of us. He's calling in an airstrike! Watch out, boys! Hellfire missiles coming in. Oh, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. Three RPG dudes back there? That landmine? Yeah! Okay, it took out a lot of them, but not a, maybe enough. And look at this. Depending on how good our score is, we keep unlocking more munitions that we can use to upgrade our base. Mercenary just got wrecked by an RPG. Come on, come on, get him. Oh, they got a sniper back there? Where's the snipe? Oh, there he is. Whoa, 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 that's pretty scary. A grenader, heavy machine gunner, and two snipers? Oh my god, that landmine should have killed all of them. We'll use that. Distract each other. That didn't, that didn't do enough, I guess. Oh, they're dropping airborne right here. I do have this guy. 
It's so weird because I'm not used to him being there. Even though it's been a while since we played. Okay, we've got to wave six, but it's only, what, two and a half minutes into the game? That airborne landed right in front of a big heavy squad. And we still have these guys here. I think what happens is these guys will go out, but if there's spots to defend, they'll sit there. Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. With this landmine needs to... Oh, wow. Didn't work. Drop the napalm! Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! Now, they got flamethrowers. They're immune to fire. But these big shield guys, they've got also got an officer out there. So this is definitely different than it used to be. In the past, it wasn't score-based, it was time-based. If you survive for a certain amount of minutes, you know, in 30, you know, by 30 seconds, I don't know how good that is at really soaking up damage. Maybe I need to put some sandbags in front of it there, so our guys hold this choke point. All right, I'm gonna try to hit this big group here. Perfect timing. Took out most of them. Allow these guys to do at least a decent amount. They've got a SOCOM soldier out here with like a, a silent semi-auto right there. There we go. They tried to call in a missile strike, but the anti-aircraft defense stopped it. But you see that there's a cooldown. They must have done two of them and we stopped the first one and not the second one. All right, that sniper tower that we invested so heavily in is gone. But now this machine gun starts mopping up these guys. It's actually able to even to sneak in a little bit over there. Nice. That landmine did pretty good. Get the choke point here. Get everyone firing in the choke point. These guys are running straight up to the riot soldier. 15 minutes in. These guys are going to be kind of tricky. I didn't do that, I don't think. I didn't do the smoke, did I? Oh, if we can take these guys out before... Oh my god, that was huge. That is definitely huge. So who's going to be the biggest threat? I think it's these dudes. But if everyone's stopping around here... Oh, that was... That wasn't the best. But I did take out the heavy units, so that we got a little bit lucky there. Monster kill! So a lot of guys are going to be sitting up right here. Missile did well, although a lot of the riot guys are still firing. Ooh, he did, he did, uh, target fire. So I, I counter-fired. Come on, get them. If they don't break that wall, we'll be able to survive a lot longer. Which I think is exactly what happened. So this is wave 10. Oh my god! I know, it's a little bit excessive here. But, I'm doing it, man. I'm using a lot of power cards here. I'm dropping these guys right behind them. Put a landmine there. Oh, wow, he's firing through that hole? And he took out the anti-aircraft thing. He's calling an airborne right there. Alright, they're smoked. We gotta take them out. Oh, the fire guy's not affected by smoke because he's got a gas mask. And they called double airborne in, so that may not have been the best time to use that. And I am out of abilities, at least for the time being. The heavy machine gun's doing well, but it is lost about, what, 20, 25% of its health. Any aircraft stopped one of them, but look at how many missiles he's got. There's gonna be two missiles, I think, coming in here. Although I got one of my own. This guy's still alive somehow. He's crawling! Okay, this is a- should be an easy wave. Mostly light infantry, a few grenade launchers, though. Flamethrowers. Let's use a landmine. <laughs> Boom! Now our guys are fighting through this. It'd be nice if the sniper can get in on it now. Oh, man. That distraction right there. He's got a medic back there, too. If they're gonna just sit there, I'm gonna drop a landmine on them. Oh, look at this! I've got a carpet bomb! Let's call it in. Use it, or lose it, right? Alright, it stunned a lot of them. Whoa, what's that? Is someone dictating who to a target? Maybe the commander is. Let's see if I can't get that bunch. Oh, it kind of stunned them for a second, so I didn't- I didn't do as much as I could have, so... We're almost at the 10 minute mark. I'm pretty happy about that. Sniper tower's going. A lot of the stuff is dropping really quickly. That officer is really doing some work on us. 
So we'll call in a little bit of that. Distract this wave. It only comes in one wave at a time, so that's kind of cool. But look at this, man. Our primary defense is more or less... Um, I wouldn't say in shambles, but it sure feels like it. Look at how many snipers that is! The number of snipers and grenades getting past wave 13 is gonna be absurd. Oh, he's dropping some smoke too? Oh, man. Okay. I hope this guy... The grenade grenadiers here are gonna be able to... Oh, these are bombardiers, aren't they? Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bomb, bombardiers. He's got a surgeon out there with a pistol. Yeah, look how fast this big old pillbox falls. Oh, here we go. We gotta use it, man. I can't, like, just save for the future. I think, uh, I think we did use some abilities poorly in the uh, earlier waves, but even still. I'm not gonna use the flame yet. This one should be able to be easily... If I time it right and drop the napalm here, I should be able to get wave 15, a lot of them. So what is wave 15? Oh my god. There's a lot of dudes that aren't affected by fire, I don't think. Does he have airborne? Oh, he put airborne behind my lines. You sneaky, sneaky son of a gun. Alright, let's try to burn as many as we can. A lot of guys are affected, but it, I don't think it killed enough of them. These missiles, man. Oh my god. Look how fast that sniper tower is going. Our mercenaries that were up there on the sandbags are now pretty much dust in the wind. Alright, we're gonna have to use this immediately. Let's go right there. Take out all the RPGs. That was nice, but not enough, you know? Now, can we s defend this wave? I don't know. I'm gonna use the missile on these guys. And then it should be easy peasy. There's just the bombardier in the back. We survived wave 15. So I'm guessing if we're 10 minutes in, there's gotta be close to 30 waves. Or maybe there's not. I don't know. It's like, is it time based or wave number based? We obviously know it's time based, but is there a set number of waves? Like, could you defeat all the waves in 10 minutes if your base just extended way, way out and it was so good? Oh my god, this group right here. It means death on the wind, boys. Yeah, that that's problematic. I need a power up. I really need a power up. Cause the def all the defenses have crumbled. It's just the way. It's just the uh, tents and the barracks here, the main headquarters. But we we passed ten minutes, which was the goal. And now the commander is telling him to focus. The last of the mercenaries are getting just sniped to ribbons. They got two snipers back there. Yeah, nothing's getting through. Look at how look at how small this guy's shield is. All right, so it looks like wave fifteen. So our goal then for the next one would be to save up and upgrade the fort and try to get past wave 15. So how do we do? We only unlocked munitions too. They've definitely changed this around, I would say, quite considerably since the last time we played it. Only 20,000 earned, okay. So needless to say, I'm not sure if putting the sniper tower there was the best option. I almost wonder about putting it down here and maybe putting some sandbags right here. So actually, let's, let's do that now. I can place these and still have the points. I can't place the bar bar, so I might as well place this guy. And then I'm gonna see about a small one behind it. All right, so we put sandbag long and sandbag short right here. Maybe our guys will sit back and defend there? Let's see. Oh, look at that. So there's three guys here. None are back there, but it's a little more covering fire. I like it. Alright guys, so thanks for watching another episode of Guns Up. Let me know what games you'd like to see on this channel. Uh, games that are similar to Guns Up that are either mobile or, you know, PC. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.